The Cavaliers come into an Eastern Conference contest in this game. Welcome to the Tuesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside, and before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge down on the sideline. David? Well, guys, Stan Van Gundy has coached the last... Thanks, DA. And Drummond is just a hulk of a man. He's really the backbone of this team. You know, the Cavs are able to stay big and still space the floor. When they put Kevin Love and Johnny Fry together, it's a death lineup with their shooting. Ladies and gentlemen, ready? And it's the Cavaliers to start out. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Smith is the two with LeBron at the three. Inside, we got the tenacious Love and Thompson. And it's Thomas in at the point guard. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And with LeBron's ability to play the power forward, the Cavaliers can go small and slide Kevin Love, Steve, to the five. And very effective with their small lineups. The one thing they've lacked is great rim protection. They can rebound just fine, but shot blocking is something they've lacked. Isaiah Thomas, the 60th and final pick of the 2011 draft. Uh, Greg, he definitely plays with a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, I call it the little man syndrome. <laughs> he's driven to prove himself. I mean, he's overcome the odds. In, in league history, only nine players, 5'9 or shorter, have played 1,000 minutes or more in a season. And he's not just playing, he's playing at the highest level. James against Johnson. Kicks it to Drummond. Great D that time from LeBron. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Outside Thomas. Thompson, a screen on Smith. Thomas kicks to Thompson. And it's sent back by Drummond. And you can see it in terms of protecting the rim. Drummond has the ability. He just needs to stay active on a consistent basis. Smith on the wing. Johnson dishes to Tolliver. Pistons passing it around. Drummond a screen. Five on the clock. Smith drives in. And the rejection by Love. Not known for blocking shot, but Kevin Love got all of that one. For Cleveland, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Smith against Thomas. LeBron, left side. Thomas against Smith. The feed to Thompson. Over Drummond. And it's Thompson again missing. And the Pistons with possession here. Johnson, a wide open look. Knocks down the three ball. Johnson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Down low. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. Smith kicks to Tolliver. Back to Smith. Tolliver, the pass to Smith. Over Thomas. Smith missing again. Yeah, and they're just hitting 20% of their shots. It's a rough, rough, rough start to this game. The shot's good. That breaks their string of misses. Now one for five. You can feel their sense of relief. There's the pick. Pass to Bullock. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. He's off on that one. Yeah, you, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. And credit the big fella, Kevin Love, getting up and down. Now Smith, and there's the pass to Tolliver. Here's Bullock, Drummond with a screen on Thompson. Four on the clock, Bullock, and good. You got the English that time as it falls. 
Excellent play call there. The defense was not prepared for the pick, and as a result, they gave up the wide open look. Thomas dishes to Thompson. Thomas a screen, and Thompson kicks to Love. Back to Thompson. Pass to Smith. Feeds it to Love. Now Smith. LeBron outside over Johnson. LeBron shot is off. I'll tell you what, despite the miss, he's going to be looking for that same shot again. And here is Thomas. It's a pick by Love. Smith for three. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. Smith's got himself on the board with three there. Deadly from beyond the arc. JR cannot be left alone. Drummond sets the screen for Smith. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Well placed alley -oop pass into the layup. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley -oop textbook, boys. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. Love outside. He's looking for James and finds him. Over Johnson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. So many things you could single out about the game of LeBron James, but, but Steve, his finishing is absolutely amazing. I totally agree. A guy that can go both ways with both hands, not just a dunker. He has great touch around the rim, the ability to play through contact. He has collected more and ones over his career than any of his contemporaries. He misses the free throw. And LeBron James has openly stated very publicly, especially last year in the finals, he is chasing Michael Jordan. He wants to be the best ever. And at this point, he might be top two. <laughs> Jordan with six titles. Hard to see LeBron surpassing that. But just to be in the conversation with the GOAT is an achievement in and of itself. Do you remember that 2003 draft? Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and this guy, LeBron James. He went number one overall. Tolliver the pass to Smith. On the wing, Johnson. Drummond the screen. Johnson attacking. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Johnson's got five points so far. You've got to give a ton of credit to the screener. That play easily opened up the easy layup for his teammate. Thomas kicks to Smith. Dishes it to Thompson. And it's sent back by Drummond. He is so out of his element right now. Hasn't made a shot all quarter. I feel for him. That was against good defense. He tried to sneak it in, though. We've seen him do it plenty of times. Beasting on defense. First, he closes out hard on the shooter. Then he attacks the glass. Filthy. Smith dishes to Bullock. There's a whistle, and it goes on Isaiah Thomas. That's his first foul. And it's Smith, top of the key. To the right side. Six on the shot clock. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Taking what the defense offers up. Smith with good vision there. Finds the open man. Smith against Thomas. LeBron James on the wing. Over Johnson. From 13 feet, it goes down. Boy, he reads the defense well. Makes a nice adjustment. Very dependable. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. You know, last season was a strong one for Ish Smith. He filled in as a starter, and he came off the bench. More of a scoring point guard, but he did a nice job of setting the table for everybody. 
And with Ish Smith, he filled in for Reggie Jackson a lot as a starter last season. And he was terrific. He showed that he can be effective in whatever role you need him. Stan Van Gundy had high praise for him. Yeah, and what I like about him is that he'll give you production if you play him five minutes or 30 minutes. Never loses focus or disappears in a game. For the Pistons, Moreland's checked in, and it's Dwight Bikes in for Smith. Tolliver kicks to Bikes. To the paint, lock at six, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thomas. Just five to shoot. Here's Bikes. Thompson with the rebound. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. James kicks to Thomas. And Cleveland again with the bucket crafty move he recognizes the size disadvantage and the mid-range is close enough right no reason to take it all the way to the rack instead take what the defense allows got that bucket in in no time at all Bikes has got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three the Cavaliers trailing timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers Smitty, we have a question sent in by a viewer. They want to know if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, <laughs> what food would you pick? And got anything for that? <laughs> you know what? Uh, ooh, Kevin, that's a good question. There's so many, especially my mom's cooking. But I'm going to go with shrimp fried rice. That's the one ooh. I think I would eat for the rest of my life. Well, you know that a Stan Van Gundy team is going to be a disciplined team, and the Pistons were no exception last season. Totally true. This team doesn't foul or give up the ball easily. Minimal turnovers per possession, second in the lead. They close out well, and they rebound well. Both sides of a team that has the fundamentals down. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Crowder, he's checked in for LeBron. Corver comes in for Smith. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. Corver passes to Rose. Here's the screen. Shot off the pick. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Here's Bullock. Guarded by Corver. Pass to Bikes. And the layup's good off the glass. Bikes has got five now. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. In the corner, Crowder with it. And another miss by Cleveland. Pistons leading by three. Here's Bullock. And stolen by Love. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Corver dishes to Thompson. The layup missed. Obviously, this has been a tough quarter for him, but he's still trying to keep a positive mindset. And Crowder comes up to help. 
on the wing. Johnson puts it up. Rebound by Rose. I'm not sure of the thought process on that one. Really bad shot selection. Well, you're playing for the team, not just yourself. They needed much better execution that trip down the floor. Mike's kicks to Moreland. On the wing, Johnson. Defended by Crowder. Second chance shot. Count that bucket. Johnson's got his third basket of the night. A terrific offensive rebounder. Here he is, doing it again. Shot to stop the run. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And for Cleveland, repeat or no repeat, just having that first title still resonates. A city no longer defined by sports futility. Shooting two. And the first one drops. You know, Steve, many felt that it was fitting that the Cavaliers came back in, in the 2016 finals from a 3-1 series deficit to win it all. If you're going to finally break through, it would have to be against all odds to make something like that happen. Yeah, so true. And the actual ring the team got after that comeback has a story to it. Three white diamonds and four red garnets showing the sequence of wins and losses. It reflects the termination and the end of a curse. Another made free throw. He can get on these kinds of rolls. Great focus. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Detroit leading by three. Here's Bikes. He's got five. There's the pick. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Jeff Green picks one up. Steve, so let me ask you this. Do players consciously think about, I need a couple free throws, I need a couple of layups, I got to get a couple of shots per quarter? I mean, do, do, they, do they try to plot and plan an individual quarter like that and how they're going to score in different ways? I, you're totally right, Kevin. The reason why is because as a two-guard back in the day, if I could get to that free-throw line and put a foul on a guy that's guarding me, that loosens up his defensive mentality. He's not as aggressive. And then now I know at the, when I get to the bonus, I can drive it. He's either going to let me go or I can create contact and get to that line. You want to score easy, and that's how most scores do. They really score easy. We just kind of applaud them when they're knocking down threes and big shots. Well, a bit of a disappointing season for the Pistons last year. I thought they were ready to turn a corner with this group. End up missing the playoffs for the seventh time in eight years. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. And for the Pistons, they know they needed to get better and make changes for this season. Uh, they did what they could do in that regard. You, Kevin, you just wonder if this team is at a crossroads. They need to decide if they should miss the playoffs again. Is it time to rebuild? I look at this Piston team. The one thing they have to do is develop their young guys. And it's all evened up. Green's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And, and Green's become a, a dependable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, he can certainly knock those down. Here's Bikes. He's got five. Six to shoot. 
High post try and good. You got the English that time as it falls. Bikes has got seven. I like the efficiency here. Three out of four shooting, just taking what the defense gives him. Outside Rose. Back to Fry. He feeds it to Green. And the wide open shot from Crowder. The shot, no good. The Pistons go the other way with it. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Here's Bullock, guarded by Corver. And it's Bullock missing. Cleveland's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Outside Rose. He dishes it to Corver. Crowder from outside. Another three for Cleveland. The gravity of Kyle Corver drawing defenders and finding the open man. Now the dish to Johnson. There's a screen. Over Fry and Detroit again with the bucket. He's been so consistent scoring the basketball. It has helped him tack on to this lead. Rose kicks to Fry. And the wide open shot from Green. Rebound, Detroit. Fast break, here they come. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Johnson's shot is off. Cleveland's gone three or four on three pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. Now here's Rose. He kicks it to Crowder. Outside Rose. Got it. Good job in the low post. Defense all over him. He keeps his cool because of his strength and size at that position. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Cavaliers on top, up by one. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And a chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked about the challenge of remaining calm and collected throughout the ups and downs of the NBA season. For me, at a younger age, I was never even killed. We would win a playoff game when I was younger. I was excited out of my mind, and then you would lose, and I was the worst person in the world. But I think at this point in my career, I kind of stay even. One game shouldn't affect the next game. You know, you go out and play as hard as you can, live with the results. Again, just another part of the maturation process for LeBron. He's become such the consummate pro. He is absolutely as solid and steady as a rock at this point in his career. Nothing rattles him. Nothing throws him off his game. And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. What stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? Well, I mean, they just got hot early from beyond the arc, and, and we'll just have to wait and see if they can keep that going. They also want to be unpredictable, mix up the play calling, keep the defense guessing. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Thomas and Smith teaming up in the backcourt. Green is out there with LeBron James, and it's Thompson in at the center, oh. filling out the middle. Out of bounds, Cleveland will take possession. Cleveland's gone three of four from long range in the game. James outside. Thomas a screen. Thompson sets the pick for LeBron. Outside for Thomas. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Here's Kennard, covered by Smith. Kicks it to Smith. Drummond with a screen on Thomas. And Smith gets double teamed. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. The defense slow to react that time. Smith makes them pay using his quickness. Smith kicks to Thomas. Green left side. Shoots from 14, and that one drops for him. Green's got five. 
And, and a smooth jump shot from the veteran Green there. The, these are looks he nails consistently. Smith kicks to Moreland. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. There's the feed to Drummond. Over Thompson. Again, the Pistons score. The Cavaliers trail by three. Do you see the frame on Andre Drummond? Easy for me to see why he can shed off so many defenders inside. He's incredibly strong. Hard to stop when he gets near the rim. Thomas against Smith. 13 feet away. And yeah, he's undersized, Smith. But boy, he plays hard on defense. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. Kennard, the pass to Smith. Tries from 16. Green with the rebound. The Cavaliers trail by three. Smith kicks to Thomas. Pass to James. Up again. It's Drummond with the rebound. To me, there's a fine line between being aggressive and just flat out forcing it. His inability to make shots right now is sinking the ship. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Stolen. And here we go, the Pistons fast break. And a late reaction by the defense makes that one a no contest. You know, he got out before people could turn their heads, and he's already gone with no hesitation. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. James dishes to Thomas. The Cavaliers again can't hit. The pass to Smith. Uncovered. The shot comes out. And Cleveland the other way now. James, the pass to Smith. James outside. Green kicks to Smith. A three-pointer, no good. The Pistons on offense. They're on a 10-2 run here. Here's Drummond, and it's going to be a three-second call. The Cavaliers trail by seven. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Thomas. Rebound, Detroit. Drummond's got rebound number eight now on the night. Smith with it. Pass to Moreland. Passes it to Kennard. Five on the clock. Good D by Thompson. Cleveland's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Smith dishes to Thomas. James left side. He gets that one. Time out, time James out. has got his second basket of the night. And there's that signature burst. LeBron able to finish with a hand in his face. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And a Kyrie's trade demand over the summer, a reflection of his frayed relationship with LeBron. James, with a forceful personality, it seems that may have graded on Irving.
Detroit making a switch here. Bullock's checked in. Detroit leading by five. And LeBron remains an outspoken leader on this Cavs team. Still interesting, though, to see whether he alters his style somewhat in light of the Kyrie situation. Perhaps leaving more to the coaches and, and looking to blend in more with his teammates. Fantastic positioning on that offensive board. Then right back up. And Jeff Green, the bucket on the assist by Thomas. And it's seven points for Jeff Green. A nice job of converting. But what really makes this play? The league pass. Here's Moreland, guarded by Green. Drummond the screen. Here's Smith. And the whistle blows, and it's going to be an over-the-back call here. Yeah, good box out. Keeps him shielded off and then draws the over-the-back call. Over-eager to make a play. Got out of control. That's an unnecessary foul. The Cavaliers trail by five. Now James, he's got five. Thompson sets the pick for Green. Green, the screen. Thompson passes to James. Shot clock at six. Thompson with the bucket. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Covered by LeBron. Back to Smith. Here's Bullock. Back to Smith. To the middle. Here's Drummond. Another shot. And another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Drummond's got six here in this quarter. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Timeout, timeout called timeout. Cleveland. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Every NBA player, Steve, believes in themselves, but some take it to the extreme. When they're on, they're on. When they're off and cold, they just kind of lose interest, it seems. Which players do you think have this irrational confidence, if you want to call it that? I think J.R. Smith. Every shot, any shot, anywhere he feels is going in, and he will still take shots. Uh, he has amnesia. He could be over 10 and keep <laughs> shooting the basketball. Jamal Crawford is another guy. Uh, those guys, they keep firing. Damian Lillard, they will keep shooting because they feel the next shot is going in. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's James. He has five. The rebound by Johnson. You know, I like the competitive fire, but he's still really out of sync. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. He had just enough breathing room around the basket, and he found a way to convert it. Johnson against LeBron. Feeds to Love. Six on the shot clock. Smith with a wide open look. That falls. Great assist by Love. And that's now six points for Smith. Pistons leading by four. Bullock kicks to Johnson. Drummond sets the screen for Johnson. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And when he gets himself into the right position, Drummond so powerful in terms of finishing at the rim. The only way to prevent that alley-oop is to keep him from getting to the launching pad in the first place. Thomas kicks to Love. Dishes it to James. Over Johnson. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. 
LeBron's got his third basket of the night right there. Here's Bullock. Johnson outside. Here's Smith. He feeds it to Drummond. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. The two big things that you want from a center are rebounding and defense. Drummond can provide both. One of the best rebounders in this league. Defense, though, it can be hit or miss at times. The Pistons shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. One of the worst in the league a season ago. Just 72%. throw good Drummond and certainly Drummond such a force with his rebounding Steve as you mentioned second in the league last year and the defense is coming along as well and as coach said he's improved playing away from the basket Drummond has the athleticism to be an elite defender Channing Fries checked in for the Cavaliers and both free throws good for Drummond the ninth overall pick in 2012. Drummond qualifies as an absolute steal at that spot. Here's Love. And that one hits back iron. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built. And that's why they are in control. Smith, no luck. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And there it is for him. Love's got six. And he runs the floor with a purpose that time. Excellent play. You know what? And a late reaction by the transition D. Takes it himself uncontested. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Now the dish to Johnson. Drummond of screen. Johnson against Love. Johnson, the pass to Bullock. Tolliver for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Smith's got three rebounds so far in the game. Bullock with the rebound. Bullock's got his third rebound tonight. Inside. Smith outside. He dishes it to Bullock. Johnson the screen. Bullock kicks to Tolliver. Again, the miss by the Pistons. The Cavaliers trail by four. The feed now to Love. Pass to Fry. Smith outside. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. J.R. Smith is strong and athletic enough to do damage inside. Smith kicks to Bullock. Tolliver down low. He's going up against Love. And Drummond is right there. Drummond's got 12 now in this quarter. Extended the league. This has been a great peer for him offensively. James dishes to Fry. Let's the three fly. Detroit with the rebound. And uh, 101 left in the first half of the game. Kicks it to Tolliver. The pass to Johnson. Feeds to Smith. Right wing. Bullock passes to Drummond. No good on that one. Cavaliers go the other way with it. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Thomas, no good. And you just get the sense the whole period he's been a bit out of sync. Yep, trying to shoot himself back into this. Regain some confidence first. Thomas against Smith. He kicks to Bullock. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. It's deflected. And here is Thomas. And Love has it in the corner. Now here's LeBron. Good work defensively by Johnson. Andre Drummond has been on display for Detroit. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. 
Kevin, thanks. Kyle, tough time getting shots to fall in the first half. How do you get back on track offensively? Oh, we just got to keep on moving, keep on playing with the pass. Uh, and we got good energy. We're just not really making any shots. So we're playing pretty good defense. We just got to knock down some shots. Kyle, we'll see if we can get it done in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, show. everybody. Ernie Johnson here, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time to check out the first half of action. Andre Drummond having an outstanding game. He had 16 points, two block shots, and one assist. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? Well, one place they had the edge was on the offensive boards. They converted those extra possessions into points. Nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than forcing a miss and then giving up a second attempt. The offensive glass is going to pay big dividends for them. Looking at Cleveland, Shaq, your thoughts. Well, they shot under 40% in the half. That tells the story right there. The defense deserves some credit for disrupting them a little bit, but they need to counteract with more creativity on offense. Few isolations, more movement, better shot selection. So that'll do it for now as we send you courtside with Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K crew for the start of the second half. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Andre Drummond has been sensational. Yeah, and the fact he's posted a double-double with about half the game left to play, that's impressive. He's been one of, if not the hardest worker over the first two quarters. His tenacity has been the difference. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Pistons leading by four. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Pistons, the big men, Tolliver and Drummond. Ish Smith is out there with Reggie Bullock, and it's Johnson in at the three slot. It's a pick by Love. He got right to the cup using that screen. Thomas got his second bucket tonight. The wide frame of Love, hard for a defender to get around that screen. And while most teams are moving in the direction of attacking from three-point range or inside, Greg, this Pistons team will still look to make a living in the mid-range game. Yeah, and the Pistons right at the top of the NBA in terms of the highest percentage of their points coming from the mid-range. Almost 20% of their points coming from that area. You have to play to the strengths of your team, even in an ever-evolving game right now. That's where their bread is buttered. Pass to James. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. And what's really amazing, LeBron's such a big-time scorer, but that's not even what he does best. Smith outside. Passes to Bullock. Dishes to Tolliver. Hits the three-point bomb. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Thomas against Smith. Thomas kicks to LeBron. Smith outside. Smith against Thomas. The rebound by Johnson. Pistons leading by five. He feeds it to Smith. To the wing right side. Roman dishes to Tolliver. Yep, that one goes. Tolliver's got five points so far. Just how they drew it up coming out of the half. Three straight from the field. Smith with it. He's got eight. Puts it up from 17. Rebounded by the Pistons. Drummond's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Drummond the screen. Johnson in the corner. 
Bullock passes to Smith. The Pistons working the ball around now. Here's Drummond. It's rebounded by Cleveland. After hitting three straight, they finally miss one. But you can see the rhythm coming out of the half. And it's sent back by Drummond. It's a pick by Love. Thomas against Smith. Whoops, they pick off the pass. And he dunks it down. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. And the replay is courtesy of Under Armour. Unleash chaos. It was a great sequence from the steal all the way to the finish at the other end. The screen from Thompson. Thomas kicks to Love. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. And another miss by Cleveland. Pistons leading by nine. In the corner, Smith with it. The dish to Bullock. Smith outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Thomas with the steal. Tries to snap the cold streak. Yeah, easy call. This is his second trip to the free throw line. down the first one and so many great Pistons over the years you think back to the bad boy era and all throughout the great history of this franchise Smitty you grew up in the area was there a Piston you modeled your game after uh, growing up yeah there were there were two guys and Joe Dumars and Isaiah Thomas you could see their impact both these players had on both ends of the floor they were interchangeable they both can handle can shoot and what I love is the chemistry they had between out. those two and they are good friends of mine Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Here's Bullock, covered by Smith. Now Drummond. He's got 16. It's taken away by Smith. Here's Thomas. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. down the first one the Cleveland Cavaliers are one of the top offensive teams in this league they make threes they get dunks and layups they make them all at a high level
He hits both from the stripe. You think about the Cavaliers scoring from long range and inside, Steve. They're, they're pretty good for mid-range, too. You know, they have two elite shot creators able to hit the dribble pull-up when all else fails, get them the ball, and pretty much get out of the way. Here's Bullock, covered by Smith. Drummond nails the baby hook. Drummond's got 18 points. In attack mode inside, the best of Drummond comes out when he's being decisive. J.R. Smith on the wing. Outside Thomas. He dishes it to James. And it's sent back by Drummond. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And stolen by LeBron. Now Cleveland moving it up. LeBron leading the charge. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Pistons leading by seven. Johnson kicks to Smith. Now the feed to Drummond. Thomas against Smith. The shot, no good. Good D by Thomas. The Cavaliers have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. The screen from Thompson. Thomas kicks to Love. Pass to LeBron. Shot clock at five. And he drops in the way up off the glass. LeBron's got four points in the quarter. Obviously, this is where James is so difficult to defend. Can beat you with a variety of moves inside, just like that one. Drummond the screen. Smith kicks to Tolliver. Inside. Kicks it out to Johnson. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And Stanley Johnson, the youngster out of Arizona, grew up in Los Angeles where he was the high school player of the year. You know, Steve, he hasn't had the easiest time adjusting to the NBA, but he certainly has room to improve, and right now the offense just isn't there for him. You know, the question is, people are saying, is time ticking away for Stanley to prove that he's a rotation player? He's kind of predictable on offense. People pushes him to go right because he only goes right. Just hasn't developed the way the team was hoping for. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. You start to wonder, in my opinion, is it better to take everything to the rack now or to try at least draw some fouls? The Cavaliers trail by five. Outside Thomas. Kicks it to Thompson. Thomas a screen. Smith outside. No good from outside. Steele trying to shoot his way out of this funk. But if it doesn't come within the floor of the offense, the whole team suffers. They get the rebound. And that one, good. 20 points for Andre Drummond. You have to block out better than that. Drummond, one of the best in the league at converting off the glass. And stolen by Drummond. Smith on the wing. The pass to Bullock. Drummond to screen in the corner. Smith with it. Shot clock at six. Here's Bullock. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Outside Thomas. Here's James. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Smith outside. Drummond the screen. Smith kicks to Drummond. Over Love. And it's Drummond missing. Well, Cleveland shooting just 34% from the floor. 
Thomas against Smith. Thomas dishes to James. Here's Thompson, and it's sent back by Drummond. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. And that's a good pass by Ish Smith. When he's in there, he does a great job of steering the drink for this offense. Here's Thomas. He's got nine. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. The Cavaliers have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Kennard, he's checked in for Reggie Bullock. Cleveland also making some changes. Channing Fries checked in for Thompson. Green comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Corver in for Smith. Free throw good, Thomas. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Smith, the pass to Drummond. Covered by LeBron. Back to Drummond. Feeds it to Moreland. Pistons passing it around. Just five to shoot. Good on. It's hauled in by Fry. Fry's got three rebounds so far in the game. Right side, Green. Now here's Corver. He's guarded closely. James in the post. Lays it up off the glass. James has got six points in the quarter. We've seen it before. LeBron gets into this kind of rhythm, and there's no slowing him down. Smith with a screen on Thomas. Kennard the pass to Drummond. He kicks it to Smith. Over Corver. The shot's good from Smith. Smith's got his third basket of the night. Unafraid to take it inside. Ish challenging the defender. Comes out a winner. Green kicks to Corver. Pass to James. Shoots from 12. Again, the Cavaliers score. Well, because of the size and the lift he gets, LeBron owns the mid-range area. And here's Smith. He's got six to the inside. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Near the three-point line, it's Thomas. Tries again. They shoot again. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And once LeBron gets the ball in the painted area, the force he plays with is hard not to foul him. And Channing Fry may be the best floor spacer in the league at the center position. His release is quick, and he's got that nice high release. Makes it very tough to close out in time. Free throw missing. And Steve, when you look at Channing Fry, how would you defend him? You know, a lot of teams like to go small on him, and sometimes that doesn't work. He still can post up. He can shoot over smaller guys, and he does have a little post game to punish them inside. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Rose is checked in. Good on the second free throw. A minute 50 left in the third quarter. Here's Kennard. There's the screen. Passes it to Bikes. Here's Moreland. Shot clock at five. Kennard. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. LeBron's got his fifth rebound in this one.
Great D that time from Johnson. Detroit leading by three. Pass to Kennard. Dishes to Bikes. Down low. Moreland with the bucket. Moreland's got his second bucket of the night. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Bobbed up there for Green. Deft touch on the alley-oop. The vision of LeBron always finding open teammates. There's 47 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Bikes. Seven points in the game. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. So far in the game, he's 0 of 2 at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Cleveland making a change here. Crowder's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. You know, Stephen, I think of Stan Van Gundy, I think of versatile. Because we all know he's the head coach of the Detroit Pistons, but he's in charge of all their personnel moves, too. This guy's got a lot on his plate. Yeah, he does. I mean, when you start to look at it, he's wearing two hats. Uh, and one thing, he's doing a good job trying to run this organization from a management standpoint and also from a culture standpoint. So far, so good for Stan. Johnson dishes to Bikes. There's the pick. Just five on the clock. Back to Johnson. Beyond the arc. Not going to go that time. And we've reached the end of the third. Pistons lead by five. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And now let's take a listen to Stan Van Gundy on a recent huddle. We need to make solid plays, okay? Solid plays, aggressive, aggressive plays, but solid plays, all right? Wanting to keep up the energy here, Stan Van Gundy would also like to add a dose of greater efficiency. You know, it's a delicate balance. To perform your best, you need to go 100%, but also be in control while doing it. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. On the court for Cleveland. Green is out there with Channing Frye. Then there's Kyle Corbin. Then it's Jay Crowder, and it's Rose in at the point. Not sure who designed that play, but he makes it count. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Outside, Green. He feeds it to Fry. Green, the screen. Fry passes to Rose. The 11-footer. Another shot. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. One of the best free throw shooting bigs in the league. If only Fry could get there more often. First one falls. Yeah! 
and both free throws good for Fry. It's a luxury to have a big man who can shoot free throws this way. To the paint. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Shooting two. And the first one drops. That one is no good. The Cavaliers trail by six. Outside Rose, and the call will go against Anthony Tolliver. That'll be his second foul of the game. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Outside Rose, Corver kicks to Fry. Five to shoot, Crowder, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. Now here's Johnson to the left side wing. Bikes the pass to Kennard. There's the dish to Tolliver. Sinks the triple. Tolliver's got the lead up to nine now for Detroit. Tough screen set there, and the defense was not prepared for it. The Cavaliers have gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. Rose dishes to Fry. They set the pick. On the wing, Green. Crowder kicks to Green. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And the length of Green is a real issue for the D. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls for him. First free throw is good. And team-wide, they've been terrific from the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. And Jeff Green drops them both. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. The feed to Bikes. He dishes it to Moreland on the wing, Johnson. Here's Kennard. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Corver. He is really forcing things now. Doesn't have to do it because his teammates are picking up the slack. Crowder from outside. Buries the long-range jumper. I just like the awareness there from Corver. He draws a lot of attention, which is why he's able to get passes over to his teammates. Bikes the pass to Moreland. Deflects the pass, and there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That'll be his second foul of the game. James checked in for the Cavaliers. They set the pick. And there's the pass to Kanaan. But they recover it. 
Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Kicks it to Bikes. Just five to shoot. Another shot, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That one on Rhodes. Gentlemen, two shots. Blue shots. And that one falls for Bikes. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Both teams will make substitutions. That one falls, so he hits both of them. You know, Teron Lou, a two-time champion as a player with the Lakers, that understanding of what it takes to win it all has laid the foundation for his coaching career. It's a pick by Love. Rose kicks to Love. Inside, and it's Thompson with the jam. The vision of Love, the willingness to make the extra pass, just more reasons why he's so dangerous in this offense. And Jerron Liu talked about his breadth of experience as a player. He said, I won titles. I also played in the worst team in the league. I've done it all. Also, Kevin, to add to that, he's been a starter. He's been a bench player. He's missed time with injury. That helps when he's trying to relate to his players because he's been there and has been through everything and whatever they're going through. And it's easy to see why LeBron James wanted Kevin Love in Cleveland. Both of them multi-skilled, multi-talented, and both have extremely high basketball IQs for the game. One shot. Free throw, good Drummond. And it seems like Kevin Love's game really fits alongside LeBron's. It does. A great outlet pass. They're setting up LeBron on a lot of breakaways. And on an offensive end, he can space the floor and create second-chance opportunities. Feeds it to LeBron. Over Johnson. LeBron can't get it to go. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Here's Bikes. He's covered by Thompson. Tolliver kicks to Bullock. And that basket pushes time the out, lead out. to double digits. And the Pistons lead Bart. by 10. Not shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Timeout called Cleveland. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid. And they're giving up a ton of second chance points. J.R. Smith's checked in for Kyle Corbin. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, guys, over the break, I was able to listen to Teron Lou's huddle. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better, and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Guys? Thank you, David.
And he knocks down the first one. Derrick Rose, the former Memphis Tiger, has a great combination of speed and athleticism. And both free throws good for Rose. Pistons leading by eight. Bikes kicks to Bullock. Pass to Bikes. Drummond with a screen on Love. And stolen by Love. LeBron outside. Outside Rose. The shot that time, not on target. Now the Pistons take it the other way. And here's Johnson outside. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. The Cavaliers trail by 11. LeBron outside. Left side, Rose. Rose can't get that one to fall. Detroit's gone 3 of 5 from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Tolliver kicks to Johnson. Drummond sets the screen for Johnson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on LeBron James. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Is Smith. He's checked in for the Pistons. And Johnson drops them both. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Rose kicks to Love. With the shot. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Passes it to Tolliver. And it's off from three-point range. Cleveland's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Derrick Rose inside is a treat to watch because watch how high he gets off the floor. Detroit leading by 10. Drummond the screen. Here is Tolliver. Johnson outside. Bobbed up there for Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. And this is what can happen when Drummond gets into a rhythm, able to score with some consistency. James kicks to Thompson. Pass to Love. Back to Thompson. Rose against Smith. And it's sent back by Drummond. Smith outside. He kicks it to Johnson. Screen by Smith. Lock at six. Tolliver with the bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Love kicks to Smith. Thompson sets the pick for Smith. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. 
And you look back for J.R. Smith, you know, Steve, over the years, some questionable choices. His reputation took a hit, but do you feel he's turned over a new chapter in his life? Yeah, I do. I mean, spending time with LeBron James has definitely had him matured. Everybody looked at him as a prankster, not just on the court, but off the court. He's doing a better job. I'm happy to see him maturing. He misses the free throw. You know how accurate JR is from three. That's how relatively inaccurate he can be from the line sometimes. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Thomas has checked in. And he's good on the second. Here's Smith. Drummond sets the screen for Smith. Johnson dishes to Drummond. He feeds it to Tolliver. They grab their own miss, and Drummond is right there. And the Pistons lead by 16. And they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. The drive by James, the three ball, and there's J.R. Smith on the assist by James. LeBron's got five assists tonight. Detroit leading by 13. Smith, the pass to Drummond. Back to Smith, dishes it to Bullock. New 24 second clock for Detroit. Drummond, it's gonna be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. That one on love. Hard not to bite on Drummond's pump fake. You have to get up quick to have any chance to contest this shot. Shoot. And he makes the first. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Cavaliers trail by 14 to the inside. James. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feed. Thomas got six assists now in the game. For Detroit, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Johnson outside. They set the pick. Off the pick. And it's off the back rim. No good. Boy, did they need that rebound. I mean, they have struggled on the boards overall, but still with the chance to win. They wasted no time on that one. 14 points right now. Now, now we can say it. He's a completely different shooter than they have. Much more confidence, much more success. Johnson's on the screen. Tolliver kicks to Smith. Johnson in the corner. shot, and there's the nice layup. Drummond's got 10 points now, just in this corner. He's been making plays all over the morning on a terrific hot streak, helping them to build out this lead. Timeout call the Cavaliers. And you never want to see a team gut you this way. Really a good timeout. Some of this is just a matter of toughness. A willingness to play physical inside. Somewhere we are not seeing.
now we've got a moment for our joint player of the game, Andre Drummond. And his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been really great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. The better he replayed, the more these fans got revved up. And that can continue to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Smith defending, and Smith gets double team. It's stolen by Smith. And clearly, we will not be witnessing the Mustang comeback tonight, although it is exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for Detroit. Their hard work on the glass made all I tell you what, they were both excellent rebound on the It was a tough battle underneath the all game. And I think ultimately that earned the WWE. The one player that really stands out of course in this one, it was a dazzling game for Andre Drummond. You know, as the game tonight evolved, he really put his team on his back. He was a great wrestler. He fact back to the defense. They were able to adjust. Here is Tom. He's got by Thompson. Scooped up. Out to Smith. There, there it is, it's Oliver. There's a V2 Bullock. Johnson's outside. 
Over to the left wing. wing. And so it's so the Pistons, Pistons taking care of business, business here. here. A confident win and one where, where they, they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. And I think they, they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports Crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.